Greetings to my team of 144 and all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 11292019, an 1111 portal. We have 111. This is the last 1111 portal of the year. Many synchronicities coming in today. A major spike in the Schumann resonance. Many earthquakes coming into the field. Start off with today. This is my brother's birthday, John. He is 48, so the 11 into the 12. 4, 8, happy birthday, Johan. A lot of 37, 73 coming in today. 37 symboling, symbolizing earth. 73 symbolizing heaven, heaven on earth. As I was driving to the office today, 37 degrees outside. As I was driving 37 miles an hour through the sacred trees, driving amongst the trees, through the parks. Today we had a spike of 58 hertz on the Schumann resonance, and there were two blackout streams. I'll post the image at the end of this video. And the two streams are the 11. So this 11 portal is manifesting on the Schumann charts today. I'm sure many of you felt this energy coming in, these portals opening, these timeline jumps, timeline merges. We had multiple earthquakes. The largest was in Japan, 5.3, which we had 4.9 in India, 3.0 Puerto Rico, 4.4, 4, 44, 4.4 in Iran, Japan, 4.6. So there were multiple in Japan, and that was 121 kilometers depth. We had in Greece, a 4.5. South of Fiji Islands, 4.5, but that went 515 kilometers depth. And then 3.4 in Alaska. So with these energies coming in, things are shaking up. Things are breaking up as these breakthroughs are happening. These breakthroughs in consciousness and awareness. We have a lot to cover today, a lot coming into the field in this 333 energies. It's the 333rd day of the year with 33 days left, which we'll cover here in today's transmission. So we'll get started with from Ellie Mac Black. Great energies are being exerted on the planet at this time. This is to assist us in change and grow for the new times ahead on Earth. In this process, we need to let go of things like emotions or situations that no longer serve our highest and greatest good. We are so blessed to have the assistance from above in the form of the violet flame of transmutation from Saint Germain. Saint Germain is an ascended master and al master alchemist who incarnated on earth countless times. The rays are said to be of the breath of God, intelligent energy from source to assist our existence and development at this time on earth. Currently the most prevalent rays are the violet, purple, and mauve. The reason for this is to assist us with the transmutation and transformation of spirit and matter. Being in the new, revealing it, being it, living with love. Violet flame of divine love is considered to be the seventh ray. To use and gain assistance from the violet flame, first still your thoughts and go into your heart space with gratitude. Here is my suggestion to you. I am represents both you and oneness. Say aloud or to yourself, but with pure intent to connect with Saint Germain. I am the change in my life. I call upon Saint Germain and the violet flame to transmute all that does not serve my highest and greatest good. On all planes and in all dimensions, I am the inner magic of transformation of my life. In the stillness and sweetness of the light, I am come to me. You can always wear or surround yourself with the color purple to assist. Imagine a magnifying glass illuminating the ray to become the flame. The violet flame of transmutation can be used on other people and places. I call upon all light workers to assist Guy at this time by using the violet flame to transmute lower energies still existing on Gaia. Always when you remove something, replace it with loving white light. From Ellie Mac Black, shared by Pars Kute. And from Ragida today, today is the 333rd day of an 1111 gateway. 
a very important milestone in our initiations moving into 2020. It's the energy grids of mind-body-spirit frequency merger. It forms a trinity grid and with it expelling any energy lower vibrational places, people and things out of your life that no longer serve your spirit. It's a time of illumination. Aligning you with more truth, higher truth, deep reflections, and pure light. When a trinity, trinity grid of 333 presents it, will expel, expunge, and extradite by acceptance or force anything from your energy field that truly isn't serving higher light or higher love grid portals. My advice to you is don't resist. It's going to occur anyhow the soul will allow you time to move and shift but it won't let you get away with it resisting is futile let go with grace let your truth be shown and hold impeccability in all that you do the light shafts will bring with it greater cosmic shifts and higher alignment from the galactic center that will reshape and redefine your sacred geometric patterns and your dna for this time of christed light quotients of five 1-2-1-0-2-4, and 2 0 hertz, straight from the Galactic Heart Center. You will be supported during these last few rungs on the ladder into higher evolutionary codes of 2020 and beyond. Today is another pivotal 11-11. There are four more gateways of 333 grids for new light quotients on our sacred earth before we go expand into starbursts of the 144th DNA light coatings on 10th January 2020 and beyond. I'll be doing sacred activations at sunset in Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi at 5.55 p.m. to assist the Christed light codes to implant and anchor on earth. I will also do several YouTube videos to assist humanity and explain the next Markers on Earth as we evolve and shift in leaps over the next 33 days, forming new Merkaba grids around us, our vehicles and chariots of ascension. And this in divine light and golden service, Ragida, R-A-G-H-I-D-A. -A. You can look her up on Facebook. It is 333rd day of 11-11-3 with 33 days to go until 2020. It's 333 of 333 with 33 to activate the Merkaba. And from Elizabeth Peru, as we head ever closer to 2020, being in the moment is a key theme. If you've been fuzzy headed or unsure this year, have you noticed a distinct shift? The light is growing from ElizabethPeru.com and from Michael Love. Inbound Pleiadian Light Forces Transmission, Earth Alliance Brief, 1128-2019. This is from yesterday. Stand by for new Earth Alliance Intel regarding the event 2020 and the Grand Solar Flash. Upcoming Earth Alliance Intel it highlights large numbers of benevolent new light fleets spotted near the sun, sending powerful 40 hertz 5D gamma energy beams towards Earth, major preparations underway by the galactics to achieve a critical mass elevation of consciousness for the event culmination 2020. A major positive Earth timeline shift occurred two Earth days ago. Large solar event expected 1221-2019. Great Ones, an incredible evolutionary shift is underway on planet Earth. Details forthcoming. Until then, let us know what ascension symptoms you've been experiencing and tell us how your spiritual journey is going. Victory to the light. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians, 5DEarthProject.com. And from Harmonic Convergence 2020, November 29 marks the International Jaguar Day and the 333rd day of the Gregorian year 2019. In Mayan mythology, the jaguar was seen as the guardian of the underworld. This year, the celebration holds a spe special significance, considering that we are 33 days away from starting a new year on 1-1-2-0-2-0. 11 plus 22 equals 33. On the Wizard's Count 2019 marked the start of the 13-year cycle of the White Wizard 2019 to 2032. The wizard is the 14th solar seal on the Zolkin matrix and is inspired on the original Maya glyph of Ix, Jaguar.
In the post-classic period of the Maya, a new caste of shamans emerged in the ancient city of Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza. They were known as the Chilambalam, the authors of the sacred manuscript, also known as the Chilambalam. The Maya word Chilam signifies a priest who delivers prophecy, while Balam was a widely used ritualistic surname meaning jaguar. The Chilam Balam was then the jaguar priest of prophecy. Time is art. And also from Harmonic Convergence 2020, seven years from the galactic alignment of 2012 and the end of Bakhtun 13, Space Matrix aligns with Time Matrix. As we have been highlighting for the past weeks, this time of the year marks the passage of the sun across the area of the sky that aligns with the galactic center. The galactic center is the rotational center of the Milky Way. Galactic center is located in the direction of the constellations Sagittarius, Ophiuchus, and Scorpius, where the Milky Way appears brightest. The ancient sky watchers used to observe with reverence the transit of the sun through this area in the sky. From this perspective of the synchronic order, this passage is now of special significance considering that today marks a resonant point of mathematical symmetry between the ancient Maya long count and the wizard's count. How is this? There are seven factors to consider. One. On December 21st, 2019, we are completing a perfect cycle of seven years from the galactic alignment in this area of the sky of December 21st, 2012, and the closing of the 13th Bakhtun of recorded history, long count marker 13.0.0.0.0. Today corresponds to the long count marker of 13.0.7.0.13. Thirteen, seven, thirteen. We have the thirty-seven and the seventy-three. This means that up until this present point in time, we have completed thirteen baktuns, zero katuns, seven tuns, zero yuanals, and thirteen kin days since day one, ground zero of time. LC zero point zero point zero point zero point zero. The numerical elegance and resonance of this date is amplified by other meaningful alignments across the fabric of time-space. The numbers 13 and 7 are perfectly encoded within the Fibonacci spiral and the 13-unit wave spell structure. How is this? The Fibonacci sequence present in all of nature is also embedded into the wave spell structure. Within the progression of the first 13 Fibonacci numbers, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, and 144, we can notice that number 13 corresponds to the seventh position. This reaffirms the sacred geometrical relationship between 7 and the 13 as the basic elegant mathematical principle behind the cosmology of time, 4, 7, 7, 13. On the galactic count of 260 days, today corresponds to Kin 139, 9 Storm. This unit marks the 19th day of the 7th harmonic of 20 days at the core of the 1320 Zulkin Matrix, the perfect 7th central axis of the 13 harmonic runs comprising the 1320 harmonic module matrix. Harmonic 33 is at the core of this 20-day passage across the central axis of the Zolkin matrix. It represents the cosmic birth canal, connecting us to the umbilical cord of the universe, also known as the Kushan Suum. Today is the 332nd day of the Gregorian calendar. Therefore, we are exactly 33 days away from closing 2019, 332 plus 33 equals 365. Today marks also the exact midpoint core of the fifth moon of the 13 moon year. As the moon is aligning with the Jupiter and Venus at the galactic center, the sun is about to enter the 13th constellation of the zodiac on 333 plus 1 of the year 2019, 1113. The sun enters the 13th constellation constellation. The sun is now about to finish its passage over Scorpio. In just two days it will enter the 13th constellation Ophiuchus. 
on November 30th and exit on December 18th, 2019. Let's analyze the transit of the Sun through the 13th constellation in more detail under the lens of the synchronic order. 2019, 11.30, Alpha, the first day of the solar transit through the 13th constellation, corresponds to Kin 141, 11 Dragon, 1.11. Note the long count day, 1. 0.0.0.0.0 corresponds to the entrance to Katun 141 of the current 260 Katun map. 2019-1218 Omega, the last day of this passage of the sun through the constellation of the healer serpent holder, is December 18th, 2019, Kin 159, 3 storm, marking also the arrival of the perfect golden mean intersection of the 1320 Zolkin matrix on kin 160 to 161 the 12 12 13 13 master alignment in time space the 13th day of the path of the sun across the 13th constellation corresponds every year to december 12th 12 12 on the gregorian calendar a perfect 13 13 master number alignment on 12 12 12 12 also being 33. 1212 also marks day number 140 of the 13 moon year, the 28th and last day of the fifth moon of the year, and the perfect golden mean intersection of the year. 5 times 28 equals 140. In simpler words, the entrance of the sun to the 13th constellation takes place on day 140 plus 1 of the Zolkin matrix and the 13th day of this transit corresponds to day 140 of the lunar solar year every year 141 140 time is art reaching the golden proportion of the 13 moon year as mentioned before the 13 unit structure of the 13 moon 28 day calendar is in resonance with the most basic form present in all creation the fibonacci spiral within this intelligent framework positions 5 and 8 mark the two five points on the 13 unit scale therefore the completion of the fifth moon indicates us that on the last day of this moon we'll be transiting the exact phi ratio point of the year day 28 of this fifth moon corresponds to day 140 of the year and day one of the sixth moon initiates the second golden mean segment of the 13 month year comprised by eight moons five plus eight equal 13 the pentagonal cycle of Venus and Earth is also governed by this proportion. Venus orbit, orbits the Sun 13 times while the Earth orbits the Sun 8 times, meeting for 5 times during those 8 years. Number 5 is the 5th number within the Fibonacci sequence, followed by the number 8, the 6th, and the number 13, the 7th in the sequence. The advanced Maya Vigesimal system of the long count is also based on a five positional marker framework corresponding to the five different levels of cycles measured by the Maya. The first order, the kin, is one day. The second order, the uanol, 20 days. The third order, the tun, 360 days. The fourth order, the katun, 7,200 days, and the fifth order, the Bakhtun, 144,000 days. On November 5, 11, 5, NASA announced the first solar flare on the new solar cycle 25, igniting in this way the 11, 3 year solar activity cycle that will peak in the year 2025. In geometry, number 5 is represented as the pentagram or five pointed star. All segments and intersections of this shape are fully ended by phi ratios and golden proportion and the universal principle of harmony present in all nature. Number five represents life itself as the number coding the molecular structure of water. Number five also codes the human body comprised by four limbs and one head. Four plus one equal five. Each limb end has five fingers for a total of twenty. Number five codes time itself as the fifth force. What is the fifth force? Contemporary science describes four major forces in the universe. Strong, weak, electromagnetic, and gravitational, or magnetic, 
The fifth force then is the one that binds them all together. It is the synchronic G-force, sometimes called the ether or akasha. It is a force which synchronizes the universe. From Jose R. Willis, and also the number five in the Taoist arts, five elements. There are five elements that create the 10,000 things. Five elements and ten organs. Two organs per element. Moving from harm to harmony. Our planet is going now through major transformations. Environmental, social, economic, geopolitical, technological. 2019 announced the arrival of the fourth industrial revolution and the rollout of the 5G infrastructure around the planet. This climatic stage of the technological advance is a transitional phase within a larger evolutionary framework. As we approach the 2020 event horizon, the coalescence of these multiple crisis scenarios seems to be announcing that we are reaching a new threshold within the biosphere, noosphere transition timeline. Within this timeline, the year 2012 represented the most important evolutionary threshold for the planet. The completion of the 13th Bakhtun on the Maya Long Count, and with it the completion of a larger cycle of precisely 5 cycles of 13 Bakhtuns each. 65 Bakhtuns of 144,000 days each, or one great year of around 26,000 years. In the words of the Mayan scholar, researcher, and author John Major Jenkins, modern astronomers estimate the full cycle of precession to be between be between 25,600 6, 25, and 26,000 years. The Maya estimate of precession, if we assume that the five great cycles, 65 Bakhtuns, were intended to represent a full precessional cycle as 25,626 years. Since the end date of the 13 Bakhtun cycle of the Long Count calendar identifies a rare alignment in the cycle of precession, and the long count dating first started appearing in the archaeological record in the 1st century BC. The ancient sky watchers apparently had already calculated precession at that time. Their forward projection some 2,100 years into the future was very accurate and reveals that the ancient sky watchers possessed an advanced cosmological knowledge. Maya Cosmogenesis we are now approaching the completion of seven years from crossing this evolutionary threshold and approaching the 2020 event horizon, a portal representing the completion of 20 years from the start of the third millennium, years 2000 to 3000. The ancient cultures considered this 19 to 20 year cycle as one generation, as it also matches one metonic cycle of the moon, a period of 19 years, 235 lunar months, after which the new moon and full moons return to the same day of the year. This coming year, 2020, is announcing the arrival of the first generation of the third millennium. This is then a time inviting us to think and regeneration and envision a new future. This alignment is opening once again a perfect window of opportunity to look up to the sky and enter into resonance with the larger harmonic patterns and cycles of time governed by the sacred ratios and proportions of the synchronic order. May peace, harmony, and beauty prevail on earth. In Lakek, to learn more about the multidimensional significance of these alignments, please go to tortuga1320.com. And from the Zolkin Times, Yellow Planetary Sun. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its key words are perfect, manifest, and produce. By the time we get to the 10th day of a wave spell, we have already climbed up a big hill, and now we have finally reached a plateau. Yesterday was the peak, tomorrow we release, but today we can sit back and just enjoy this perfect day. Today is yellow sun, and it represents enlightenment, universal fire, and life. Today is the kind of day when you can expect light bulb moments to occur frequently. You'll be full of good ideas and many insights will be glimpsed. As it is a planetary day, it's a perfect day to manifest what you need. If you need some light to shine on you, the timing is perfect. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Planetary Sun, Kin 140, 29 November 2019. 29 11 2019 11 11 3 equal 2 2 3 equaling 7 
29 spiritual strength tests, 11 portal doorway duality partnership, 2 partnership cooperation, 7 magic spiritual mystic. Kin 140 equal 5, change transformation, freedom liberation. 1111 portal day, another uber powerful day. Another divinely perfect day here on Gaia land. Jesus is the Son, S-O-N slash S-U-N of God, and we are all children of the Son. So Ahau's codes are very potent in activating and illuminating the golden planetary Christ consciousness grid today. Day 10 in the Blue Monkey Wave Spell of Magic, Joy, Bliss, Play, Merriment, and Return to Innocence. Today is the day of the physical plane manifestation. The accumulation of energies over the last 10 days of this wave spell allows us to harvest this energy through manifestation. So today we are manifesting magic, joy, and bliss. The planetary manifestation tone coupled with the sun and monkey magic is a very powerful yang energy to utilize for your creative expression. So take note and use this power wisely. It is time to claim our mastery, but in so doing we must walk our talk and truly live our daily lives through the lens of spirit and enlightened masters that we are becoming. A fantastic manifesting day and brilliant day for planetary work, healing, manifesting on a grand scale. Today's question is, how can I independently perfect my creativity in order to manifest great magic, joy, and bliss in my physical reality? Divine blessings for a giant planetary leap in the transformation of our physical reality made manifest today. Kin 140, 140, Yellow Planetary Sun, The Mantra, the code for the day is, I perfect in order to enlighten. Producing life, I seal the matrix of universal fire with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of elegance. So thank you for joining me today on this another magical, powerful 1111 portal on 1129-2019. Let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your visions, what is coming through the field today for you, coming into your consciousness, your synchronicities. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel below. Click the subscribe button and click the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future updates and transmissions. One other lesson that came through in my consciousness today as I was at my office preparing uh, to go to the bank, contemplating this month was a slow month for us at my business. So as I was doing the numbers for the month, I realized that there wasn't enough profit uh, to pay myself. So like most, as m most small business owners know, some days you're ahead, some, some days you're behind, or some months you're ahead, some you're behind. And the lesson of going with your intuition came through seven, several times today. But in this particular, my higher self, my intuition just said, just write the check for yourself, regardless of what the profits were for the month. And so I wrote myself the check and I was heading out the door to the bank. And as I was walking out the door, underneath the door, while I was writing the check, there were several envelopes that the mailman, I had the door locked. So I look and there were two checks that... I received from clients and it was more than I had just written the check for to myself. And the two checks, the, the check numbers, which is more synchronicities, which are just confirmations from our higher self, from the universe, from our creative source. The one check number was 34333 and the other check number was 3222. So there is the 333 and the 222. And the universe just saying, keep going through and through and through. Be confident, show courage, have the faith and the intent for infinite abundance. And for being provided for no matter what we need. Because it is that great faith, that faith in ourself, our higher self, and divine source that, yes, does move mountains and moves our awareness. The mountain is the mind. When mind becomes still like mountain, we realize our oneness with all things, with the universe, 
and with all life. I'd also like to thank everyone joining us on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America. We're making many connections. And within the next month, the next phase of this project will be activated. For now, we are looking for land in southern Ecuador, myself and my team. In the Divine 44, we hold the vision for the blueprint for the Healing Retreat Center and sustainable communities around this realm. Yes, they'll be in every country, but the first through our team, through the soul family that I'm directly working with. Yes, we're all connected. We're all part of the same team. But there's individuals and individual beings and consciousness that work directly with me, closest to myself and the team that I work with. In the heavens and on the earth, in the celestials, we're talking higher dimensional beings, our star families, the star nations, the ascended masters, the angelic realm, and then our team on the ground, the earth alliance. They're all connected. We are all connected. And yes, we're all part of the same mission, the mission of bridging heaven and earth, or manifesting what we call new earth. We are the rainbow bridges, and together we cannot fail. Victory to the light. So if you'd like to learn more about this project, this mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America, you can check us out on primedisclosure.com and click on Dao de Ecuador at the top, Healing Retreat Center. And part of the vision, the new vision coming through, obviously the prophecy of the eagle flying with the condor, the eagle of the north, the divine masculine, coming together and harmonizing with the divine feminine of the south, the divine condor, the divine water, and the divine fire, the holy fire, holy water, coming together to create harmony and peace on earth. And this will be in the foothills of the Andes Mountains, the blueprint, the first of our vision will be there and then it will spread out through all over this realm and part of the new vision we are seeing a sacred cave a sacred grotto on this land and a natural hot spring and also an orchard of fruit trees so if you know of this place in southern ecuador that is for sale please let us know send us an email at info at primedisclosure.com and eventually our feet will be on the ground there seeking out this land, this sacred land, to start this divine community. So thank you all that are keeping us in your visions, in your heart, and in your prayers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep walking your path with heart and shining your light brightly into the night, beloved being of light. I love you all. Namaste.